nothing more inspiring than seeing two artists that come from two different disciplines and different ways of expressing themselves, uh, and then see an incredible collaborative result. You know, where it, it's very uplifting. We love piano, so it's a it's a great state of art, and uh, the way that combining vis visuals and piano is fantastic for us. Shows where you actually combine two mediums like this and two people who are sort of at the top of their game doing really imaginative amazing things two really open-minded artists from two different areas it's just really rare to see that there was a lot of emotion built up uh, by the interaction of the music with the video that I think was absolutely brilliant I think it worked as a as an installation and as an actual performance you know one you couldn't have one without the other really well, I play the piano and I played this music called the pictures in the expedition If somebody's pioneering that collision of two mediums, it's somebody in rock and roll. So it's really cool to see somebody taking a risk in classical music too, and hopefully it'll bring it to a wider audience. I had a sense of the music, and I had a sense of what the visual component was going to be, but when you brought them together, it was something altogether completely different and completely um, moving beyond belief. I'm just really, really amazed by how brilliantly the chemistry of these two people who you know, three years ago maybe, I didn't know each other and didn't know each other's work. And now, to me, they're like artistic brothers. They were paired exceptionally well by Jane Moss of Lincoln Center. Robin has a very, very singular voice of pure invention. There's nobody else that actually does what he does, and that is do a drawing on a wall and animate it and create a fantasy, an illusion, or a dream. We're all really big fans of Robin Rhodes. He's a very creative and funny sometimes artist. He's got a specific point of view and this this way of expressing joy uh, while still having these social political undertones that's uh, kind of unparalleled. We've seen a couple of his performances before so couldn't miss on this one. All of the pieces of the evening uh, fit together and made uh, a, a narrative uh, that was so compelling. Uh, it's just a whole new approach to it. I think it the idea was to try to draw a bigger audience and I think I think people were really appreciative of it. It's fantastic to push things forward in a way that continues to preserve them but can bring them to a wider audience. It definitely was something I would love to see again and I think it was a really innovative way of engaging both of those arts. It's a wonderful seamless collaboration between two virtuoso artists at their prime. I think I got this amazing uh, kind of melding of, of music and emerging cutting-edge visual art and it was, a, it was a full experience. There are still really lively, imaginative, brave things happening in classical music and this is a great place for it and this is a perfect show.